All right, we're back on the shower. Uh, we got all the membrane done, completed. Now we gotta do a water test. We're gonna take this plug out and put the shower head on it. That way I can fill it up with water. And we'll fill it up to whatever level, as long as it's below the curb. And make a mark. That's we'll plug the drain, fill it up, make a mark, and then come back in 24 hours and see if water level has dropped. Going? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's the, took the plug out, and now we're gonna put the, whatever you call this thing in there. I can't hear the last thing. <laughs> here to keep from scratching it up. Oh, I don't fit. I don't want to put the pliers on it because it'll scratch it up. Hang on a minute. Here we get a handle of a pair of pliers and use it for leverage and Pretty straight, straight enough for now. That way, when I turn the handle on, I we'll actually get water from there to fill up the shower pan. And we're going to stop it up with a. This is a two-inch. What does it say? Two-inch gripper from o Odie. It's a two inch pipe. So as you tighten this wing nut down, it pulls this bottom piece and expands the rubber. So it should be a watertight seal. You just twist it until you can't twist no more. And that should stop it up. Now we'll turn the water, I'll probably put the shower head on so I don't have just one big stream coming out and splashing everywhere. So I'll get some Teflon tape, put around it, put the shower head on, and then we'll fill it up from there. We got the shower head on now. I'm gonna kinda of point it that way so we don't get water everywhere. And hopefully we've not tested it yet. Hopefully we got water up to the Shower head. So here's the first trial. Now we'll just fill it up until, at least until it, the bottom is fully covered. And as long as we're not above the curve, it can be fine. Then I'll make a mark somewhere on the wall, wherever the water line level is. Let it sit overnight and check it again. And if the level is that the mark that I make is good. If it has dropped, we got some other issues, so we'll see. Thanks for watching.
don't know if you can see it, but I got it right up to that bottom line on this side. And then I made a pencil mark there right at the water level. So it's about, I don't know, seven o'clock now, evening. So we'll let it sit overnight, at least overnight. And I'll check it in the morning when I get up and see if this water level has dropped any. If so, we got problems. Could potentially be draining through the plug, which I don't hear anything draining. You should be able to hear it if it's quiet, if it's dripping through. But I do not hear anything. So if this water level drops by the morning time, I may have some issues to figure out. So hopefully it'll be right there. Everything will be fine. If so, we can proceed with, I'll put the tile floor in next, then the walls and then it'll finally be finished. Until next time, I'll give you an update in the morning anyway, so we'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, in about 12 hours. You can see that water level still at that bottom line. And as it moved from over here. So that's a good sign. I'll let it sit for a while longer. We gotta do some running. So when we come back, I'll check it again if it's still there. And we'll call it good. And then it will be ready for tile. Alrighty, back again. It has been, well, I don't know what time it is. It's been a lot. 22 or 23 hours we're still right on the mark there's that still right on the mark so i'm gonna call it good drain this and it's ready for tile